Hi everyone. In this video, I just wanted to do a quick practice problem where I solved for the long run equilibrium price in perfect competition. So here's my question here. The market for gravel is perfectly competitive. The total cost function for a representative firm in the gravel market is equal to, we have TC that's total cost is equal to 288 plus two times Q squared plus 160 times Q. So small Q is firm quantity. We're asked what is the long run equilibrium price in the market? How much does each firm produce? In order to answer this question, it's pretty straightforward, but we do need to know a couple of things. The first thing that we need to know is that in the long run, the equilibrium price is equal to the minimum of average total cost. I did do a video on this condition. I'll link to it in the description if you need more explanation. The second thing that we need to know, which is really going to help us, is that the marginal cost function for the firm intersects average total cost at its minimum. So just that point here where marginal cost hits average total cost, that's going to be ATC min. And we're going to use this to our advantage. We're going to find average to total cost minimum by finding our marginal cost function, our average total cost function, and then setting them equal to one another. So let's, let's just work with our total cost function then. We need to find average total costs. That's just going to be total cost divided by quantity. And so just substituting in, we have 288 plus two times Q squared plus 160 Q divided by Q. And that's equal to, I'm just going to separate them out because it will help us later. So two Q squared divided by Q is just two Q, right? And then 160 that Q will divide out. Our marginal cost is just the derivative of our total cost function with respect to quantity. So with respect to Q. Now the constant drops out, the two here will come out the front and multiply the two. So we get four Q and two minus one is one. So we just leave it as four Q and then plus 160, this Q drops out and that's our marginal cost. So we're going to set these two functions equal to one another and that will give us average total cost min. So I get four Q plus 160, that's equal to 288 divided by Q plus two Q plus 160. All right, we take away 160 from both sides. I'm also going to take away two Q from both sides. So four Q minus two Q will be two Q equal to, we have 288 over Q. We haven't touched that. 2Q minus 2Q is zero. So that's what we're left with. I'm going to multiply both sides by Q. 2Q times Q is 2Q squared is equal to, these Qs cancel out. So I get 288. Divide both sides by two. Q squared is equal to 288 divided by two is 144. And sorry, there's the squared. And we'll just take the square root of both sides and I get Q is equal to, it will be plus and minus uh, 12. The square root of 144 is 12, uh, but we're only going to take the positive value because uh, we're in economics and quantities can only be positive. So Q is equal to 12. And actually that's part of the answer. We're, we were asked how much does each firm produce? We found that that quantity where marginal cost and average total cost intersect, that's going to be average total cost minimum. And that point is equal to 12. That's what we've found. In order to find the price, that will just be this level here. We can find um, that by setting quantity, setting the quantity equal to 12 in either our marginal cost or our average total cost functions. I usually just write it out like this. The price is equal to marginal cost. That's an outcome of perfect competition, which is equal to marginal cost is 4Q. Our Q is 12. We just found that plus 160. 4Q is 48 plus 160. We get 208. So that's going to be the price 
where it's equal to average total cost min. And that's really the second part of the question. One thing that you might think about doing, which would help you to confirm this result, of course you wouldn't do it in an exam because you don't have enough time in the exam, but you could just check the profit uh, at price is equal to 208 and quantity is 12 for the firm because the long run equilibrium is that profits are equal to zero, right? That's the, that's the whole point of it. So if you work out your profit and it ends up zero, then you kind of, you, you're good with your calculations. The other thing that I should mention is that you can also find the minimum of a function, like your average total cost function, by taking the derivative of average total cost and then setting it equal to zero. It will come up to be the same amount. And those of you who aren't strong on taking derivatives, um, you know, more p potential for mistakes essentially. Uh, but let's go ahead and check this profit. Profit is total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue is price times quantity and total cost, we have our total cost function here. So I'm just going to uh, leave that as is and use that total cost function. Uh, and we can evaluate this at Q is equal to 12 and at P is equal to 208. So I get 208 times 12, that's our total revenue, minus 208, sorry, 288 plus 2, now quantity is 12 squared, plus 160 times 12. Now, I just use my calculator for this, um, and you might have to get yours out as well, but 208 times 12 is 2496. And we take away, so 288 plus 12 squared is 144 times 2, that's 288 again, plus 160 times 12 is actually 1920. And 288 plus 288 plus 1920 is actually equal to 2496, which is exactly as it should be. Uh, and we get that result, the profit is equal to zero. So that just confirms that we've basically got the equations and the maths right. Um, so that's it. I hope it helped.